Hey everybody, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to edit your photos in Photoshop, right? And so these red object photos, uh, to remove all of the color except for the red, um, is, a, is a pretty fun little process once you understand it. And once you get it, it's, it's cool and it's easy, but trying to understand it gets a little tricky. Okay, so I'm going through my desktop computer for this. And so here's one picture that I'm going to edit. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to download that one. And then I'm going to click this one. Download that. The girl is a little bit tricky, so we'll, we'll add that one in too. And then we'll go into... We'll go into this one too. Alright, so I've got one, two, three, four pictures that we're gonna edit. Okay, so now I've got those. So I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna go into Photoshop. We'll skip this. Go into Photoshop and so here are some edits that I'm working on for our graphics classes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go File, Open and it's in our downloads and it's under the red. So here we go. I'm gonna open these four up. There we go. Okay, so now let's start with this first one here. So when we edit this, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So I click my magnifying glass, click on here, and then I'm going to use my quick selection tool. I'm going to make this smaller, and I just draw inside the shape that I want to keep in a certain color. Okay, so it's make sure you have everything selected. If you select too far, then um, it ends up selecting too much of it. And so we want to make sure that we select just inside the red area so we don't select too much. Now I can press the minus and then I can deselect that. If I can go back to the plus, I can do a little better selection there. Okay. Now once that part's selected, so I've got this selection, but I want this part selected. So then I'll go select, inverse, and then I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Now you'll know when I have everything on the outside selected because I have all these little, what I call, dancing ants. And then we'll go Desaturate. There you go. Okay. Now, there's a little section that somehow ended up being selected. And so I'm going to select that piece I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. And there we go. So that part's done. Okay, then I'm going to go into this next one. Now, with the Quick Selection tool, to make the brush size larger, I can go in here, make it bigger, and you can see the size of it. And then I'll hit that button. So I'm going to select just this green stem and then the red. Now, again, when I'm selecting it, just select the red and make sure you stay inside the red so you don't select too much. Now you can see I need to clean up this part. There's a couple little extra pieces right along the edge. Okay, So again, select inverse, image, adjustments, desaturate. And you don't have to select just that one, but um, it works pretty well. And so, I mean, for this assignment, if you want to select this one or this one, whatever you want to, it's totally up to you. Okay, now with this girl, I've got the red coat on. Um, it gets a little bit trickier. So when I, when I do this, see how big the brush size is? So we're going to go a little bit smaller with this. We'll go 35. And then I just continue selecting little portions of it. Now we probably don't want to select her hair, but there's some other little spots that we're going to want to select. So I'm going to go even smaller. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I've got that part selected, but it's already black and white, so it really doesn't matter. And now with the hair, what I'm going to do now, so I've got all of this selected and all of this. I want to add to the selection, so I'm going to add to it this is delete, this is add. And then when I have the add, it's going to have that plus sign. 
And so I'm going to select this part here. Okay. And now in here, I'm going to use this part. Now if you're using a Mac, you can use the Option key or the Shift key to select anything that you may want to add or remove. So I select that part. Okay. I want to add to this selection. So I'm going to press and hold the Shift key if I want to. And then I can select that part. Now if I want to remove a little bit more here, so I'll go back in here and I'm going to draw right down her hair and then come back. And so now you can see what I have selected. In fact, to add to this selection, I'm going to add right through here. I want to go in and I'm going to actually still add a little bit of color into her hair. Okay, so I've got that. Now again, what do I do? We go select, inverse, and then image. And so when I do the select inverse, you see the dancing ants. Okay, image, adjustments, desaturate. And there is your edit. And then it's done. So that's how this works. When we save this, we go file, save as. And then I'm going to save it to the desktop. I named it Red 6 and make sure it's saved as a JPEG. And then click Save. We'll do Replace. And then click OK. So there you go. That's how this assignment works in terms of making some of these edits. So I hope that was helpful to you. And I hope you learned something from this. So good luck with your edits, whether you're using Lightroom or Photoshop to make all of your edits. Thank you.